you beautiful collectors and action figure fans, it's the one and only Opta Bottoms coming to you with another video review. If you're an old subscriber, thanks for coming back. If you're a new one, welcome. Before you leave, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and bell notification so that you get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Siege fan voted deluxe class impactor. For the package, much like all these figures, you got that Transformers text along the side with the generation logo. You do get this extra read up right here that says he was fan voted. In 2018, he and Mirage won, and that's the figures that we got. We also have an open window that fully showcases the figure, his name, all that stuff. The side here has a pretty cool image of him. See, he's a deluxe class, opposite side, very familiar image of the arc blasting off from Cybertron. Then you come around to the back, you can see images of him in his robot as well as his vehicle mode, and then he transforms in 14 steps. And then obviously, like all of these new figures, you can use this with the uh, Battle Masters, which are just, you know, these little guys with little posts that you can hold so it is what it is but uh for the packaging on this guy that's about it so without further ado let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is all right guys so here we have impactor open up out of his packaging and obviously in his vehicle mode now full disclosure i never read any of the transformer comic books so I am not very familiar with this character. What I know is that he is the original leader of the Wreckers who I guess was killed and then I guess Springer took over him, but he was a pretty darn good leader. So it, from what I gather, really kind of parallels Optimus Prime and Rodimus in terms of you know a really well-liked leader being replaced by one that wasn't quite as sure of himself. What's cool about this guy is, uh, again, to my knowledge, this is the first um, version of Impactor that was not just a repaint. This is a brand new mold form that, as I mentioned, comes way to us as the winner of the fan vote. Now, uh, somebody was saying that it's not necessarily this one that's the fan voted r release. Apparently the fan voted release is a three pack, which includes um, this guy, which is primarily the same color, but instead of an Autobot logo, he has a Decepticon one. I don't know what that's about, but he comes with the remolded head, which is more IDW inspired. And then you get that uh, clearish blue Mirage and another figure, I, I don't even know. The only one I would really want out of that whole three pack would probably be that uh, Mirage figure, but I uh, probably wouldn't really dis display that one. Uh, but for Impactor here, as you can see, uh, purple, yellowish orange. You do get uh, some of this wear around his uh, tank treads. This wear color kind of goes all the way around, but what's interesting is that like Mirage didn't have any, and then some figures it's been hit or miss in terms of whether or not they choose to put it on there. So I don't know what the criteria is for them to put it on there, but it seems like it's not as prominent as it was in the early releases. But really great looking figure. Like I said, I don't know anything about the character, but the toy itself is actually really very well done. You see some uh, cannon things here along the side. It's just done in this gray plastic, which is very much like the, uh, the gray plastic for his gun and then his uh, gun harpoon weapon thing right there. You got some nice uh, silver paint there with that wear, and then you got that silver paint also in the front looking really very sharp. You see all these different uh, portholes throughout there, so obviously you can use any other, you know, battle masters or anything like that. Uh, plug that in there, and that actually kind of goes along with them pretty well because the purples match pretty decently. But it's really nice. Uh, you do have, uh, like I said, the the, the great cannon here, which will become his gun. You can articulate that up and down. It just pegs in between uh, so that detaches and he uses it. Uh, that can rotate, but the whole tank turret also can rotate around, which is really nice. One thing that does kind of, I guess, suck would be the uh, the tires on the bottom. You can see you got little tires here underneath the uh, tank treads themselves. Uh, you got that up here, and then you got some wheels here. But it, it it mostly just scrapes. I mean, you can that's scraping. I don't really feel like the wheels are rolling uh, at all. I mean, if you push down, I mean, it just makes it scrape even more. But uh, I do wish those uh, rolled a little bit easier. That's kind of a negative, I would say, but you know, who's, who's gonna be sitting there playing with it that much? But a solid, solid looking mode. The colors really look good, even though they're kind of strange in terms of like purple and yellowish orange. Um, you can kind of see his Autobot logo there, but 
it folds under. This is going to become like his chest piece right here, but you can kind of see that the Autobot logo folds under. That's a little bit ugly. I wish there was another uh, logo somewhere on here, but I don't really know where you could put it. That would go along with uh, his vehicle mode, but great molded in detail. You can see a lot of sculpt work in there. Like I said, I don't know anything about the character, but the toy is pretty darn cool. Now, for his transformation, come around here to the back. Uh, these are his feet. You want to pull these out. They tab in uh, fairly securely, so pull these out, and then they swivel out like so. Do that on the opposite side as well. You can then take this whole section and rotate these around towards the front. You can bring this whole section down here and then this will lock into place. Go in and split the legs down here in the middle and then rotate these bits. Keep that there. Rotate this up like so. And then as you do that, you bring that down. Kind of angle that. There we go. And then you bring this back section here out and around for his feet. And there you have his legs done. And look, you can have, is this a girl walk mode? I don't know. This is like Ed 209 mode. <laughs> I don't mean that. Oh, that's funny. Uh, then take these, you want to pull this out and then rotate these around like that. Uh, that'll detach the gun that you can remove right there. And then again, rotate this out. Uh, sometimes helps to lift this, but I find it's not necessary to do. Rotate these around, bring that down, and then rotate his hands out. Do that on this side as well. Rotate that all the way around. Rotate his hands out. Bring that down like so. This part can get a little bit tricky. Take this off, and then you rotate this off to the side. Then pull this out, and I always, I there's not a real good place to pull his head out so I just use this and kind of wedge that out like that then rotate that around like so put that back into place and then bring this down and you got this little uh, tab right here that's going to slot in to the underside there locking that all into place if I have it proper yeah bring the uh, elbows make sure those arms come all the way out and are given enough clearance there we go bring that down bring that down and that's it that's him now in his robot mode and as great as he looks like here uh, they, they do give you the option to make him look a little bit more like his comic book self you can rotate his arms back around obviously as part of the transformation and then on the inside on uh, both of these you can see that he's got holes on the underside there so you can take this and plug that in there because in the cartoon uh his or in, in the comic book uh his right arm was just or his right hand was the harpoon um so you could recreate that obviously you can have him hold his gun but uh that gives him a little bit more of that uh, comic book look which again i know nothing about the character but this is a cool looking toy and they really did a great, great job with them. The color scheme is uh, basically the same as you can see with the uh, the orange and the, the purple, but you get an extra few paint details with yellow like here on the chest, on here with the legs. One thing that is noticeable is that the head uh, matches this yellow a little bit more than the orangish yellow. So I don't know if that's meant to be that, but it does kind of give a slightly off look to it simply because you got all this other orangish yellow that i don't know um with, with the yellow paint on here I, I guess it doesn't look all that bad but it, it does stand out i think i love this uh shoulder cannon section here uh, you have that whole section there as well so if you wanted to uh, you don't necessarily have to have that on there you can put that there and you can leave his hand out uh you got all these different ports on the feet on the legs on the shoulders on the forearms all of that is there so you can plug in other things you can have him hold uh battle master which that looks pretty cool he seems like the type of dude that would walk around with a big giant gun like that that's really neat a lot of options uh with this guy to uh, arm him up and 
put that right back in there. The only thing that I would say bothers me a little bit would be his legs. Uh, now, as you can see, I got them very spread out. Yeah, that's because they're on pretty solid ratchet joints that when you keep the feet there, I mean, it kind of keeps his legs pretty close together. Um, and it, it looks weird. Just, I don't know, when you keep them because that's about where it wants to go before you go out to there, which is the ratchet joint. So, um, I wish it was a little bit more spread. I mean, it's not terrible or anything. Um, I, I, I don't know. I've, that, that's definitely a nitpick, I guess. The overall figure, though, really does look very nice. And again, like I said, it cleans up really well. The transformation is really fun on it and does some pretty cool stuff that we haven't seen in a Taint Transformer in I don't even know how long. Uh, you still got that Autobot logo there that curves around his chest. And then, like I said, that three pack, the, uh, the head is different. It's a very similar look with the crest and everything. It's just, like I said, more IDW inspired. And it has a Decepticon logo there. So I don't know if he was resurrected as a Decepticon um, or came back and was just mad. So he joined the Decepticon. I mean, I don't know any of that stuff. I'm 100% convinced, though, that somebody's going to leave it in the comments. So cool. Uh, but you do get a little bit more of that gray plastic with his thighs. It looks pretty good here with the uh, the cannons that were in his vehicle mode. Kind of blends in pretty decently. Uh, still great molded detail throughout the entire thing. This is really very well done. Very, very well done. Uh, for his articulation, the head is on a ball joint, but you're mostly just going to get rotation. It is very tight as well. Uh, you do get a little bit of up and down, but really not much. Uh, the shoulders hinge outward uh, as kind of part of the transformation. You can also have like a double hinge right there, but when you do that, it kind of messes things up so just use that one and then it rotates you also do have a uh, bicep swivel nice hinge here at the elbow guess you could kind of say that his wrists move in and out um, but again that's all part of the transformation upper waist here uh, rotates so nothing at the lower section but that is part of that uh, tank turret rotation so that's how they kind of get that moving around i mean obviously he was like basically sitting so that's where that rotation comes from not at the lower section that uh, is all part of the uh, the locking mechanism there so i'm glad that they still have that uh, rotation there uh, you have universal joints here at the hips so in and out forward and back uh, like you can you can't hear it, but those are the soft ratchet joints that go there, 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 and that's it. So good range of motion there. Rotates uh, right above the knee, hinges forward and back. Uh, I guess you could kind of say the toes curl under, and they really lock in there. And then you can rotate these out for that ankle uh, tilt. So uh, you can have a leg spread like that for a more dynamic pose, which I feel works well with them. I just wish that you could stand them upright a little bit more. It's not a big deal. It's not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, and like I said, I'm basically just nitpicking at this point, but I admit it. So, you know, I get a pass. I don't know. Overall, though, like I said, really very cool. Very, very uh, awesome looking robot mode. And uh, honestly, it does make me want to know more about the character. Um, like I said, never really a comic book reader or anything. But uh, I'm uh, definitely curious to see what kind of shenanigans this guy would get into. Now, for his transformation back, uh, I'm going to remove this. Obviously, that's already rotated around. So just rotate that around as well lift this chest piece up come around to the back section lift this and then rotate his head all the way around and then flip it down like so bring that up locking that there these arms here you're going to rotate these down and then rotate all of this around like that so again fold these up tuck that down and then rotate there until so these uh, little round bits are pointing towards the outer section and then take his cannon and bring this up and just sandwich this between the arms and tab that into place just like that make sure that gets all the way down there you go just like that and then this piece here you want to bring that down and that will tab into the underside of the arms as well take this whole bit rotate that 
to the opposite side you can take this piece here you can plug that in right there if you're so inclined and then this piece is going to pull up just like that and bring everything up like so take these feet tuck those down like that and then get these swiveled out to the side you can connect these two pieces right there kind of line that up and then these bits are going to rotate to the back side of him like so kind of position all this and then these little pieces here on, on the inside you can see those little tabs right there that are going to slot into those pieces there so one at a time just kind of fold that in and try lining that up it's a little bit tricky to see and let me see if i can do it like this so yeah I'll bring that around and slot that in do that on this side as well bring that around there you go give that a nice squeeze kind of just position that and there you have them uh, pretty simple of the of a transformation but it's really very fun and gets them looking like a really very very awesome tank overall though as i said it's a character that i'm very unfamiliar with uh, so when a toy can come out and really impress me without having any attachment to the character that's something pretty special there's only one other time i can really think of that happening that would have been and that would have been the deluxe class armada starscream that was a really cool toy from a character i knew nothing about and we got that years ago so it doesn't happen often for me to get kind of blown away by somebody that i don't know who it is but this impactor toy is really well done the tank mode looks great colors are fairly accurate and even though they're weird do a really good job of looking like it's supposed to the transformation while simple is fun and ultimately that's the most important aspect of a transformation so despite the fact that it's simple it still is enjoyable to do and it effectively gets us to a robot mode that looks awesome the presence of the toy is really well done and easily can rank as one of my favorites so far in this entire siege line that's really just how impressed i have been by this toy so all that being said, if Impactor here is a figure that you would like to add to your collection, he is hitting various retail locations right now. So if you're looking for him, good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, there's places online such as Big Bad Toy Store. For that, as well as other places online that you can get them, I'll put links down in the video description where you can go there and pick them up for yourself. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it, guys, if you would show your support simply by doing one small thing for me, and that is just hit that thumbs up button. That one small gesture, which literally takes like a half a second to do, really does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, a huge thank you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch the video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. I'd also like to send a huge shout out to all of my patrons who through their continued support now more than ever help to make reviews like this possible. And finally, remember, grow wise, grow strong, but never grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.